Hello there friends, today, August 18th, Nintendo held their latest Indie World presentation where they revealed all the latest greatest indies coming to the Nintendo Switch and there's a lot of really good indies coming to the Nintendo Switch. A lot of them today. This was a really good presentation. There wasn't like a, oh, Cuphead or Cadence of Hyrule, you know, that kind of out of nowhere big announcement, but there was a ton of really good, really interesting looking announcements and even more of them released today. Like the list of games released today. Uh, a Short Hike, which has been raved about last year and I haven't played and I'll play it today. Uh, Evergate, which frankly looked very like Ori. But hey, Ori's a good game, so if you're gonna rip off a game, you might as well rip off a good game. But we'll see, we'll see is there more depth there than Ori or something different there from Ori, but it looks very Ori-like even in the platforming and the way everything works. It's very Ori-like. Raji, an ancient epic based on Indian culture, also out today. Takeshi and Hiroshi, a really neat looking game with a really neat art style. You're like creating a video game, you're creating like an RPG. And Spiritfarer, also out today. Like that's... That's a good list of games to be shadow dropped. There's too many games to be shadow dropped. There's a couple of demos for some of these other games out today as well. But I will do my usual format for these things where I will count down the top five announcements. Uh, none of which are the games released today, naturally. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to playing those games today, at least. That's, that's a thing. Number five, the thing they ended with. Untitled Goose Game is getting co-op. It's Untitled Geese Game. Or Untitled Goose Games? or maybe just titled Goose Game. Regardless, you, there is now multiplayer in Untitled Goose Game. You can play as two players. It looks frankly quite hilarious. I am very much on board with double team goose chicanery. It, just the way you can like set things up. That, like that game, that it's not designed like naturally for co-op, but like the way one goose can distract the farmer and then the other goose can take the keys is like subtly genius. And I'm super on board with that. And I wish it was like was at least some some more content or a new level or something, but there's not. But we'll we'll have to wait for Untitled Goose Game uh, two sometime in the future. But for now, co-op. It'll be very funny. This game, it's the best meme game. As meme games go, Untitled Goose Game is like top tier. Number four, Subnautica and its sequel, Subnautica Below Zero, are coming to Switch next year. Subnautica is a game that has intrigued me for the longest time. And it was released on consoles, and I'm like, ah, And it was obviously on PC before that, and I'm still like, ah. For some reason, this strikes me as a very good handheld game. So I'm like, will they bring it to Switch? It look, it's very graphically intensive. So I'm not sure how good it will look in handheld on Nintendo Switch when it releases next year. But hopefully it'll look good enough to play. Because, like, everything I've watched of this game is like, oh, I just want to pour hours into this game. But it feels like a handheld game, so I'll wait. This is the thing I do to myself, and it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Where I wait, I'm like, this game might come to Switch someday. And even if it does come to Switch someday, it'll probably be, in some ways, a compromised version, at least graphically. But still, it feels like a good Switch game, so I'm going to wait. And at least that, at least the wait paid off. At least it is, in fact, releasing on Switch. So hopefully performance will be good. Hopefully it'll look good, or at least good enough. And I will finally get to experience Subnautica and Subnautica Below Zero next year. I like unguided exploration games where like the world isn't too big and there's actually things to find. And that seems like what Subnautica is instead of like unguided exploration games where the world is gigantic and it's just empty. And that's not fun at all. Number three, Card Shark is coming to Switch next year. It's like, the, this is just like the concept. The concept is fantastic. It's basically a game set in 18th century France where you cheat at cards. What more do you need? And you can get caught cheating and someone puts a gun to the back of your head and it's like, hey, you cheated at cards. And I don't know how to play cards. So maybe that's an impediment on my behalf. Maybe the game will teach me how to play cards. And you do card tricks. And the, the dude from the studio did card tricks on the stream. And I was like, yeah, I'm on board with this. But yeah, it's an incredible looking concept, an incredible looking art style. It looks really nice. Just the idea of cheating at cards. I will learn how to play cards just so I can cheat at cards and get caught cheating at cards and get shot by a Frenchman in the 18th century. That is my destiny with this game. That's coming 2021. Number two from Supergiant or Supermassive. I always mix up Supergiant and Supermassive games because they're very similar names. Supergiant, there we go. Supermassive for the people who made Until Dawn. But yeah, Supergiant Games, makers of Bastion, makers of Transistor, are finally releasing Hades out of early access. It's finally releasing as 1.0, it's releasing on Steam at the uh, then, and then it's also releasing on Nintendo Switch. It's coming Switch with cross saves uh, along with PC. So if you're playing on PC, you can also play on the go with your cross saves on Switch. It's coming fall 2020, so probably not that far away. Supergiant RA Studio with a very good pedigree. There's Bastion, there's Transistor, there's Pyre, which I think Pyre came and went, but I know people 
raved about Pyro. I was actually hoping Pyro would be released on Switch, but sadly not to be yet. We're getting Hades' official release uh, coming to Switch uh, in the fall. And it looks very good. Like, I've been hankering for, like, a Dead Cells replacement in my life. Like, I've been literally just scrolling the eShop looking for my replacement for Dead Cells. Good roguelike with good action. And I think Hades might be it. I'm hopeful Hades might be it when it releases on Switch in the fall. And then number one, of course, the most important game revealed during the indie world is Bear and Breakfast. Now, you might be saying, I've never heard of this game. And understandably so. It's a game where you play as a bear. And he's running a bed and breakfast in the woods. And you have to satisfy people. And you have to build your bed and breakfast. It's basically... Like the, it's, a, it's a bed and breakfast simulator. Where you play as a bear. And this is the kind of gameplay I'm on board with. Honestly, any game that has a bear as a starring character is naturally appealing to me. Because bears are cool. And it's basically The Sims. Except with a and b and a bear. And apparently deeper mysteries in the woods. So there's like some kind of story element there as well. It's not just strictly build your bear and breakfast and then live out your happy bear and breakfast in the woods lives where you can happily have customers but there's mystery who doesn't love mystery yeah bear and breakfast this game looks stupid great i love it it's gonna be the best game of the year it's coming 2021 i cannot wait for bear and breakfast it has me excited about video games again this was like this was a really good presentation like i didn't mention the hypnospace outlaw which has basically like a 90s computer text based game all the games released today a ton of other stuff this was a really good like a really solid presentation where every game is like oh and every and then they move on to the next game and you're like oh and then that game's out today and then there's another five games out today and you're like oh my money but regardless good games can't give out about that i know we're waiting for nintendo to fill out their fall and next year schedule it's you know covid uncertainty has has ruined game announcements forever but in the meantime very good showcase. You can follow me on Twitter at GarkNG or TTKNY. You can subscribe if you like the sound of my voice or, you know, if you don't like the sound of my voice, why have you listened to me for nearly 10 minutes or give or take? <laughs> leave a like, leave a comment. What did you like from this? What are you looking forward to? Thanks for watching and bye bye.